Hey guys, this is Garis. Welcome back to another episode of Survivor Done. We are once again back here in a modded Minecraft world. And um, today I want to show you guys what I've been up to with the um, sorting system and all that. But I just want to show you guys. I've picked up a issue with the sorting system. Um, so sometimes it just goes and it freezes. Okay, let me show you guys. With this. Yep, and then it freezes. Doesn't matter what you do. If there's something... That prohibits it, it will just stop working and that's kind of bummer for the system because we can't um have the <clears throat> the chest in the middle that's basically rooting all the unsorted items uh, because i actually did find off cam that it <laughs> actually roots two year of things that we actually had in a sorting system so yeah that's fun okay i'm not sure if i show you guys i've put up the um um, glow item, glowing item frames. Uh, so this is slabs. Let's just put one of these. Whoops, that doesn't work. You can't see that really, but... And these are the other dark blocks. I'm just going to put that... You know what? I am going to use this one. Um, yeah, so we have all the sorting system going up to here and there. Over here I have started placing chests and everything, but we don't have the sorting <laughs> yet. So unfortunately, we can't sort it yet. Over here we have charcoal and coal. And I put a furnace just there for now. Didn't really know where to go. I'll make this industrial area. I want to put in plants and flowers stuff here. And um, yeah, we'll actually. I think we almost we we'll, we have used half of our items already. Interesting. Oh wait, I need a few more there. Yeah, but I'll make that just off cam at the later stage. But for now, everything is rooted here, no problem. Oh wait, I actually don't want to... What? <laughs> Interesting, I don't know why we've seen here a, a door over there. Oh yeah, this thing can actually sort. Cory does that, so we... There we go, okay. Okay, so this is the donation chest for... Wait, is it? There it goes, stopping again. It looks like it continues from a slot that it was last on <clears throat> excuse me okay so the reason why i have so many lapis is because we need to still get the fortune book so i spend a hour or two or five going through 10 stacks of lapis still and still nothing so i almost gave up and decided to um Uh, what do you call it? This way, looking for silk touch. Um, decided to give up and cheat in the item. But yeah, that's cheating. So I don't really want to do that. So I spent a bit of time in a creative world. And I tested it out. Um, with a enchanting table and bookcases okay 
I just want to get into the light area. Let's do it on the ground. So I, what I did in the test world is I put down this, put in this, and I went through everything over and over and over and over again. And nothing happened. So then I put down bookcases, one at a time, then I did it again. Second one, did it again. Third one, did it, did it again. I don't know, did about 50 each. Didn't get any fortune. And then by the sixth one, I started finding fortune. Over well, I only found it once. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try it in my world to see if this works. If this doesn't work, I'll, I'm willing to go through five stacks of lapis. If I still don't get any fortune, I'm going to cheat in fortune. I'm very sorry to say, then I'm going to cheat in the fortune one book. Because then you don't get it. Okay, let me just quickly go get XP. Uh, I was looking for... Wheat, that's one. So that we can get a couple of cow's bread and harvest it so that we can get XP. Okay, so let me do that quickly and I'll bring you back once you start the fortune one. The fortune hunting book up one. <laughs> okay, we've got a bit of XP. So this is going to be a boring episode I'm um, just going to see if we can actually get fortune one now in a test world I actually have a um, well I did a creative world so uh, it's much easier than here where we actually need to use XP and items and I have to go slower here because there if I mess up, I don't mind. Here, I do mind because I waste resources, technically. Hmm. Okay, need more XP. Maybe I should go get some XP at the XP farm. Okay, give me a minute. We'll be right back. Okay, so we are on 28 levels of XP. Let's see what we can get. Uh, okay. So we're looking for Fortune 1. And as I said in my test world, I actually... Lava Vex. Um, I only get it... God start getting it when I got 6 bookcases. And that's what we have now, so... Let's hope for the best. And see, this is already uh, level 2, and I think that's on the... Uh, on the line. You see, there's a ton of level 2 things. And still level 1 things, so... Or it might be that I was just lucky getting uh, the Fortune 1... Enchant. I'm not sure if the bookcases actually does uh, make a difference. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, and there I saw a lure. I can't remember seeing lure a lot without any bookcases. So I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful. Oh, and loyalty as well. I haven't seen loyalty a lot. And I can remember uh, from the test world. That I saw loyalty a little bit more. Oof. Okay, that's one stack down. That's three levels. Yeah, as I said, feather falling. That F almost it made me think it's a fortune. Um, so as I was saying, if we eat five stacks, I'm unfortunately going to cheat it in. Because you can't say I have enough more due diligence to try and get fortune. 
Also thorns. I can't remember seeing thorns previously. Or I might have just missed it. I actually wish I um, <laughs> discovered this reroll earlier. That is a mod, by the way. But I thought it actually takes like five levels, so that was just too much. I never use it until I actually, at one stage, thought, ah, let me take a chance. I was on my last book or something, I can't remember why. And then I saw, no, it doesn't take five levels, it just takes five experience points. I don't know if you can see how many XP you have per bar, but yeah. I don't think I went more than a hundred. I think it was like 50 that I did with the six bookcases. So I'm not, not sure if I actually just got lucky. Maybe I should go back there and see how long far are we in this episode. Almost 12 minutes, just wasting time with enchanting. And I actually want to keep this on cam so you guys can see I'm not slacking and not 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 doing my part. I am actually trying to get the enchantment, just struggling a heck of a lot of time to do that. Got a couple of feather falling threes or oh, twos. There's another one. So the question now is do we want to add another bookcase? Because I'm guessing that actually changes things around. So let's finish this stack of lapis. Then I'll add one more bookcase. And then we finish another stack, add another bookcase, and then thereafter. But I'm afraid if I add too many bookcases, then we'll start getting the, the Fortune 2 one rather than the Fortune 1 um, enchant. And I don't want to get there. You see, Straddle Jump 3. Oh, that's, yeah, you see, this is starting to be on that edge. Fear of falling two again. Looting. Actually, I want, wonder if I want to take that. No, our focus is fortune. Nothing else, it's only fortune. Ah, uh, halfway through this stack. Fire, Riptide. These have thorns again. As I said, I don't see a lot of them going through. I think I've been at it for two weeks now, trying to get the fortune in charge, just so that we can actually use our quarry and get the fortune one in there. I saw the feather for it and almost thought it was <sighs> fortune. Almost done. I think then I need XP. I'll do the the cows again. Go grab another bookcase and then I'll bring you back. Thorns almost got, got excited. Okay, see you in a sec.
Okay, got a few extra levels of XP. <sighs> okay. So we did not have any luck yet. So one more case. Let's see what happens. Straddle jump three, two. Oh, goodness. Piling, piling. Oh, feather falling. Loyalty again. Yeah, um, I'm trying to go quickly because uh, I think this is going to take most of this episode's time. And again, I said I don't want to waste time. Um, Fear of Falling 2. Uh, while I was now gathering XP, I was thinking about it. Maybe I should not just cheat yet. I'm going to spend a few more minutes off cam. I say minutes, probably an hour. I usually have a lot of um, patience so <laughs> i'll probably spend a couple of time off cam trying to still get that enchantment but if not i'm gonna cheat it in and then we'll start using it in the next episode but then you know why i have it almost thought that feather falling one was it ah come on Why O levels? Oh, come on. And here after we'll add another bookcase. Fair falling three. You see now it comes hectic. Or we should remove the bookcase, go back to only six. Yeah, I, I'm starting to think it was only luck that I actually got a, a fortune one in the test world. Especially now that I see it didn't do any effect. Doesn't have any effect. Salt Dutch. Yeah, and our levels is almost also gone. Definitely do not want to go back to the XP farm. Okay, one more bookcase. Okay. Last one. Oh, I didn't go get some XP. That's okay. Let's see how far I get with the justice. Looting. Don't need to actually enchant now, just need to get the enchantment on the roll. Infinity is new. It hurts me quite a bit to try and to, or to waste so much time. Fear of falling free again. Um, I'm just trying to enchant on the whole episode just with this. It's such a waste. Now I need XP. Okay, let me grab XP. Okay, 10 levels. Let's see if we can finish last few and then we're gonna call it as I said a very boring episode sorry about that guys just really trying to show you that I am really trying to get that fortune one I'm sure if I used um, equipment that can use fortune I would have gotten it but I need it on a book unfortunately except if I can get a mod Maybe I should look at that. A mod that can remove enchantments from items. I think I'll have a look at that. 
There's actually another mod I was thinking about getting, but I can't remember what I was thinking about. Oh, by the way, I see Ender IO actually has a way of for you to use or play with it, but I'm not. I'm. I don't really understand how to implement it. You can go download the project files from GitHub, and then you can actually install it. But as I said, I'm not sure how to do that exactly. Not enough XP. Okay, that should be enough for four at least, I think. And we're done. It's time to sleep. Um, but yeah, so as I was saying, there is a way to play with Ender IO, but it's not official yet. So unfortunately, I'm not going to try mess with it. Um, compatibility issues and bugs, etc. So yeah, I'm going to call it here. As you guys saw on cam now, I went through five stacks of, of uh, what do you call it? Lapis. I might remove um, two of the bookcases, go back to the six. And see if I can maybe get the fortune. Maybe do another two stacks, three stacks. Maybe I'll see. But yeah, for now, uh, I don't see any other way out. Otherwise, I must take look at the mod to remove the enchantment. That's the only way I can think about doing it. But in any case, for now, let's call it an episode. Thank you for joining me, guys. Sorry for this boring episode. Hope you enjoyed some of it at least. If you did, please give me a like. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would appreciate it a bunch. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!